using frequency sampling method design an FIR low pass filter with omega c equal to pi by 4 radians and n equal to 15. The scheme of evaluation given and the final result is also given. So let us try to solve this problem. For this problem, given the cutoff frequency omega c equal to pi by 4 and the number of samples n equal to 15. So as a first step, we can draw the ideal magnitude and phase response characteristics for the given specifications. For that, first you draw a line and mark the 15 sample points. Mark the 15 sample points. Next step is to determine the location of pi by 4. So this location can be obtained as 15 by 2 pi into pi by 4 which is equal to 1.875. So the location of pi by 4 is somewhere, somewhere here. So this is pi by 4. We have corresponding to 15 the 2 pi and send at 7.5 we have pi now the counterpart of pi by 4 in the other side is obtained by 2 pi can be obtained by 15 minus 1.875 equal to 13.125 13.125 means it will be somewhere here so this angle corresponds to 2 pi minus pi by 4. This corresponds to 7 pi by 4. We can draw the path band. So the, the ideal response, the magnitude is 1 and the path band is up to pi by 4. So up to pi by 4, the sample 0 and 1 are inside the path band. Here you can see the sample at 14 is inside the here 15 corresponds to the next cycle so which cannot be added to this one so only 14 so the samples are 0 1 and 14 equal to 1 corresponding to the pass band or all, 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 all other samples, the magnitude is zero. The phase response can also be drawn since it is linear. The phase response characters will be in this form. So we have the magnitude of the response and the phase response. From which we can determine the H of K. So the modulus of the magnitude equal to 1 or K equal to 0, 1 and 14 and which is equal to 0 or all others value for K. Similarly, the phase value of I K is given by minus of N minus 1 by N into pi k which is equal to minus of 14 by 15 pi k for k equal to up to the half of the values that is up to 7 so in order to determine h of n this first half of the data are sufficient so here we have the magnitude and phase. So the frequency response of the filter can be obtained. The frequency response of the linear phase FER filter is given by h of k equal to 1 into e raised to minus 14 by 15 pi k for k equal to 0 and 1. Here we are considering only the half of the data which is sufficient to compute the h of n so which is equal to 0 for k equal to 2 to 7 so we have obtained the 
frequency response of the linear FIR filter. Now by taking the inverse DFT of H of K, we can determine H of N. So this can be done by an expression by 1 by N H of 0 so K equal to 1 to N minus 1 by 2 real part of H of K into E raised to J 2 pi K N by N. So this is actually our IDFT inverse discrete Fourier transform. Here H of N equal to 2 into this one. So in our case, you know that H of 0 equal to 1. And in our case, N minus 1 by 2 equal to 14. Sorry, 14 by 2 equal to 7. So we can write this as equal to 1 plus 2 into k equal to 1 to 7 real part of e raised to minus 14 by 15 pi k into the total factor. So in our case, this is valid only for k equal to 1. For all other values, it is 0. When k equal to 1, we will be getting the real part of this one. No. This can be simplified as we get the expression as e raised to minus 2 by pi 15 into 7 minus n. So we say <coughs> j is here. Now <coughs> the real part of this one see, actually e raised to minus j theta equal to cos theta minus j sin theta. So from that we can obtain the cosine of this part as the real value. So this will be equal to 1 plus 2 cos 2 pi by 15 into 7 minus n. Therefore h of n equal to so by symmetry we know that h of n equal to h of 15 minus 1 minus n. Therefore h of 0 equal to h of 14 which is equal to by substituting we get this value and finally computing we get minus 0.06375 next for n equal to 1 h of 1 equal to h of 13 equal to 1 by 15 so after substituting and computing we get h of 1 equal to minus 0.412 now for n equal to 2 h of 2 which is equal to h of 12 equal to so substituting and computing we get h of 2 equal to h of 12 equal to 0 now for n equal to 3 h of 3 equal to h of 11 equal to 1 by 15 1 plus 2 cos 2 pi by 15 to 7 minus 3 0 0.05273 therefore n equal to 4 h of 4 equal to h of 10 Substituting and calculating H of 4 equal to 0 0.1078. Next, N equal to 5. H of 4 e H of 5 equal to H of 9 equal to substituting we get 0.156. For n equal to 6, we get x of 6 equal to h of 8 equal to 0.1885. Now the last value h of 7 equal to 0.2. So we have computed all the filter coefficients. 
So h of n is here. This one 0 is here. That is h of 2 equal to h of 12 equal to 0. Now we can take the z transform. Then we get minus 0.06375 is raised to 0. Then it's raised to minus 1. It's raised to minus 2, etc. We get this is the transform of the impulse response in this form. Here we can see that the coefficients of h of 0 and 14 are the same. So that we can combine these two. Similarly, z minus 1 and z is to minus 13. The coefficients are the same. So that we can combine the two. And after combining and writing, we get the answer just like in the scheme of evaluation. So this is the scheme of evaluation. Now we can compare, we can see the get the same values. Here we have combined the first and 14, then so raised to minus 1 and 13, etc. So you have solved the given problem. Thank you.